Update 1 is here in Pet Simulator 99 and they have added 8 new areas, 31 new pets, 8 new eggs, blah 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 bro, there is so much stuff. Also, what in the world did I just get? I ranked up to rank 9? What did I just get in my inventory, bro? What is this? An Insta plant capsule? Well, I've heard this update is actually massive, and I want to check out everything they've added. So let's go ahead, travel all the way to the end, and as you guys can see, it looks like they changed the icons for these. So that's pretty cool because, I mean, it was kind of terrible back then, so it's nice that they changed it. And wait, I think I just went to the wrong area. Let's go to area 50. Okay, here we are, and the Rebirth 2 is no longer a thing. So now we can go ahead and go to Area 51. Wait, is it actually Area 51, or did they call it that because of the thing? Okay, no, it's actually Area 51. Let's go ahead and buy it. And there we go. Okay, we have a rare enchants over here. Buy rare enchants. And as you guys can see, you can buy enchants and you can only buy one. But I think it's rare and above. So that's pretty cool. If we go over here though, oh my god, there's more areas and it's actually very expensive. 100k and there's an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and get that pet damage upgrade plus 10% pet damage. All right, let's keep going ahead see what they have in here area whoa there's a new currency okay what in the world okay there's a new currency so let's put everything onto here so that we can start getting that bro because yeah now platinum bars are like nothing so they have an upgrade fruits machine now the upgrade fruits machine lets you upgrade into rainbow fruits i will say though rainbow fruits do still stack with like apples bananas oranges and pineapples but if you don't have any you can use 20 of any fruits or you could combine them and uh you can turn it into rainbow so it's a pretty cool feature it's definitely really nice all right, let's go ahead and buy the next area now that we can actually afford it and bring all of our pets over here. They did optimize stuff a lot more, by the way, so that the game is so much less laggier, um, especially with, like, all the orbs and stuff that is in this game. Also, I just got this Damage Potion VI or uh, Damage Potion 6, and it is uh, very good. I'm going to also go ahead and make another crystal key just because I can. And if I go ahead and check out the exclusive shop, you guys can see there is now an ultimate pack, which gives you some pretty cool rewards. You get six eggs, um, 25 spinny wheel tickets, uh, 125k diamonds, which is a lot, as well as some other cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it because it's actually not that bad of a deal. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's a decent deal, especially if you're starting the game. But for me, it's not too good. Nothing down here, though, in the shop. There's nothing else. Let's see if they change anything about enchants. Okay, looks like there's also nothing in the enchant section. There's rank 11. I don't know if you can get that. I mean, looking at the update log right now, um, there's this thing called Lore Master. No idea what that is. But um, apparently, there is, if I go right here, uh, where even was it, bro? Okay, it's not in the update log, but apparently, you can only go to rank 10. So, that does suck a little bit, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and keep going through these areas areas though i mean we're getting through them pretty easily remember to go open eggs at the shop oh yeah i do have to do that but firstly here is the garden merchant this merchant is different because it actually sells you plant seeds as you guys can see i can buy coin plant seeds as well as more coin plant seeds because that's what the game gave me for some reason but yeah there we go now you're probably wondering what do you do with them you can go to this flower garden game mode right over here and firstly let me go ahead and collect all like my coins over here real quick but you can actually go in here and what you can do is grind inside of this place so you can pick up this um little i guess uh water plant thingy and you can plant your seeds into here so there we go i planted a seed and if i water it it makes it go faster and that's really cool that you can do that 
there's a bunch that are for free and you can plant whenever you want and then there's a few that you can buy with gems and stuff i will say though the gem ones are pretty expensive you can also use insta plant capsules which instantly grows everything i believe but i really like that you can water them and stuff that's such a nice feature bro anyways let's go ahead go back and check out more i'll be back with that later we almost have enough for the next area let's go ahead and make sure though that all of our boosts and stuff are on because this stuff is gonna help us out a lot if we don't have them we're gonna go much much slower i'm also just gonna go ahead and use some tnt bro because yeah it's such easy coins man to get through these areas tnt is the way to go and i have a lot of them like i have over 400 and it one shots everything bro so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep using tnt till we get enough and there we go we are already i think uh wow okay there's a few more areas so there is this castle thing which is actually going to be used for clan soon and it does say coming soon i would assume maybe in the next update but yeah that's gonna add more stuff to do in clans also like i said there is more ranks which means there's a lot more rewards you can get now which is awesome but let's go i keep using tnt in this area boom and wait what it doesn't one shot it why not Okay, it's actually not one-shotting anything in this area for some reason, which is a little bit weird. I thought it did, but I guess it has a weakness. And there we go. We can finally go to area 57. So right here, you can actually see the number one clan. They have a little board for it. And right now, it is the Hippo Melon Clan. I don't know what the leaderboards are like right now. As you guys can see, yeah, um, Cat is behind by like 200 billion. But it's 850 for the next area, which seems to be the last. So I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and use one TNT crate, bro. Let's just do it and get everything out of this area. My pets are so weak, bro. I have to go hatch right now. But firstly, we need to get some loot because it is not going to be easy to hatch if my pets are this weak. But there we go. I can finally buy it. Area 58. And we have already finished the area update. Also, I forgot to actually get these upgrades. So definitely make sure to go ahead and get them. They're very helpful. And you can't actually go inside of this castle. I don't know if it'll ever be used for anything. But this is the last area for seven more days. So next week, we're going to be getting another update. Assuming that the updates are always going to be weekly. Oh, let's go. We just got a giant coin jar to spawn in this area i mean that nobody spawned it but i will take it i am not gonna complain and i'm just gonna place down a bunch of tnt bro so that we can rack up some of these coins because i don't know how much i'm gonna need but we're gonna need a lot there we go we got like 6k right now that's not that bad um i can also go ahead and place down like a fortune flag it looks like they buffed the fortune flag and now multiplies diamonds by 2.5 times. It used to be only two times, so that's pretty cool. And I do have a few large gift boxes, so let's go ahead and open that. And I don't know if we got anything cool. Oh, we got some treasure hunter books. That's pretty nice. Okay, now is the time, though, to go back to the uh, area number one and hatch some eggs, bro. Apparently, these new pets are, like, good. So, there we go. Oh, my God. They look so nice. Dude, the pets look so sick. Okay, let's go, go all the way to the end. And, whoa, this one has a huge in it. Oh, it's like the huge is changing. So, now you can actually see the huges that are all the way up there okay well it costs only two coins so that's pretty cheap and i'm not gonna complain about it but wait wait i actually forgot since we're now rank nine we can go to the open more eggs machine and buy some more eggs bruh oh my god never mind that is very expensive oh my gosh okay we'll come back to that later i promise i'll max it out by like tomorrow or something it's only three more eggs anyway so it's not gonna make a major difference but let's go ahead and make sure our um luck potions are popped and as well as some coin ones for later and now let's go ahead and hatch bro come on give us something good and okay we got a night beagle i guess or why is that zero percent bro where are the stat pets man oh my gosh they're so op 
90 AK stats is actually insane. And yeah, the Night Beagle seems to be uh, the second to best one that we can get. But um, <clears throat> let's go ahead, keep on hatching to see what good stuff we can get. And actually, I don't have any of my uh, accurate or like right books on. So I'm going to go ahead and equip all of my fortune books, which I have four of. As well, oh wait, no, not fortune. What am I saying? We need luck. Yeah, all of my lucky three books, as well as shiny hunter. And let's go ahead and also equip some more luck books. So now let's go ahead and test it out. And it should be a lot. Yeah, it is so much better. I'm going to go ahead and auto hatch this for a second till we kind of run out of coins. They did also actually add a new leaderboard, by the way. If I, um, as you guys can see, there, this one is the rap leaderboard. So I would actually be very high in this one because I have a lot of rap. I think it is currently broken though because I shouldn't have only 3 million. It should be a lot more because I have a bunch of Titanics. But um, it looks like they also changed the tap power leaderboard, but it hasn't set up yet. So it's probably going to take some time for it to get like normalized and everything. Okay, there we go. I've done a decent amount of hatching and let's see what we've got. Okay, we got a rainbow exotic night beagle. So it's an exotic rarity, which is higher than mythical. That's pretty sick. And it is rainbow, so that's even better, bro. But I want to go ahead and try fusing them. What if you can actually do a pretty good fusing method? Because, um, I mean, there's a lot of new pets with really good stats. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try putting, I don't know, let's do uh, three plus pets. So let's do four of them because it doesn't actually let me fuse more than that. Let's see what we get with four. Come on, 100k stat pet. What? How did we just get that? Okay, it did not give me anything good. Hold on. Maybe we need to try something like this, bro. Come on. No. Why is this like the fusing machine is so bad? Okay, I'm trying with a little bit of like a combo, bro. Two different type of pets. And yeah, it, it, the fusing methods just don't work. I don't know if there is ever going to be one. If there is, I'll make sure to let y'all know. But I do also want to go ahead and open my exclusive eggs. I mean, they just gave me a few for absolutely free. So we might as well open them. Come on, a huge pet. Uh, please give me a huge and no, nothing. But let's go ahead and go back all the way to the last area because I think now is a perfect time for me to actually collect my coins over here. Yeah, dude, we have so much coins. With the new update, they actually added so much into the trading plaza. So let's go ahead and go all the way to the castle so that I can show you guys everything that they've added. Also, I do have my keys, so I might as well go ahead and open these. Um, nothing good on the first one, sadly. Uh, let's go try again. Come on. Give me something good, man. Oh, we got a lightning book, but I don't think I can really use that. So let's go try it again. And oh my God, still nothing. Okay, we got one more and still nothing, dude. Oh, my. Okay, now let's go ahead and go into the plaza, which they now have a normal as well as a pro version. I'm going to go into the pro one just because I have the stuff that I need. And I'm glad that they added this so now we can actually get some decent people to trade with. Or at least like people that are the same level as me. So first new thing they actually added was the brand new auction board. Or not brand new because technically this was here before. But now you can auction stuff such as enchants and all of that cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and or auction my lucky block because apparently it goes for like 400k wrap. But I think it's actually a lot more. So I'm going to put like 1.2 mil or let's do 1 mil as the starting bid. And it looks like you lose 1% of the earnings due to tax. But let's do it anyways. And here we go. It has started. Or I mean, it's there and it's ready to actually be auctioned. Also, you can auto farm inside of the trading plazas um, like diamond area now, which is kind of insane to even think about. Okay, there we go. My lucky block is on auction, bro. Does anybody want to buy it? It's 1 million like too high or something, bro. I could have sworn this was selling way higher a few days ago. And if you also check out the update log, I don't know if you guys noticed. Um, they did say there's a brand new huge party. 
If you don't know what that is, it actually starts around 12 hours before any update in this game. And I was luckily there to kind of see it all happen. So here's some footage that I got for y'all. Wait, hold on. What is this, bro? Huge party event. Three times the huge chance? Okay, so apparently they have a huge party event now that you get three times the huge chance odds of inside of the best egg, egg number 63 right now. And you can get those three huges, but believe it or not, I actually hatched one. If I go in my inventory right here, you can see I hatched a huge red panda. And I literally hatched it. I don't know when I hatched it, if it was during this event or not. I don't even know when it started, but this is pretty cool but yeah i think i'm gonna have to go trade this bro because this is insane only 163 exists too okay it's been a few hours and currently the time that is left on it if i go actually in free cam so that you can see it is two hours but the chances have gone up to six times and apparently this is gonna keep increasing i don't know what the limit is but it has increased and my auto hatch for some reason did stop overnight but there we go let's go get all those rewards and then go ahead keep on hatching because uh yeah we're gonna need this good stuff the luck multiply has just gone up to 12 times it has literally doubled so much bro and now it is actually insanely op okay looks like literally nobody wants it i guess but that is fine because what we can do is see what else they added okay so there's this brand new charm stone item and I do kind of want to discuss about that because it's a little bit OP, I guess. And to do that, let's go ahead and obviously go back to the main game. But firstly, let's go ahead and go to the daycare because now I can actually collect my, um, the coins that I have actually in here or whatever it's going to give me. And okay, yeah, 27 coins. That is nothing even good, bruh. Let's go ahead and put some of the new pets in here. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and just put like... 20 of these guys, I guess. Wait, did they nerf it? To why is the lucky level only 34? I think it might have gotten like insanely nerfed. Oh my god, it did. Yeah, okay. So the daycare is really bad now all of a sudden. I don't know how this happened, but they did nerf it severely. Let's see if I can get anything from my merchants because I actually have the last level of the merchants and it's a little bit OP. Let's see. Come on. What do we have? Okay. It's only selling gift bags right now. That sucks. Um, so nothing good in it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and buy everything because, I mean, this is still pretty good. Okay. I'm about to hit level 5 on this. So there we go. And no, bro. It didn't give me the new, like, um, thing. I don't know what it's even called. Okay. Yeah. It was called the Charm Stone Item. But I'm just going to go to the best area real quick and put all of my pets on here so that they can actually begin breaking some stuff. I will go ahead and change my enchantments too for now because I don't exactly um, need that stuff on. So let's go ahead and get fortune on because one, we're going to need a lot of coins. We also want to, of course, get strong pets as well as coins on. That's going to be important. And we can put on Midas as well so that some of the stuff turns gold. Okay, that should be better. I don't know how big of a difference that's going to make. But it should be better. And we can go ahead and place down like some TNT. And okay, now the TNT one shots. So the TNT might be like based off of how good I guess your pets are. And I'm going to go ahead and place a giant coin jar. As well as um, let's go ahead and do a fortune flag and TNT. Now this is going to be what's going to get us a lot, bro. Look at all those coins. Oh my gosh, bro. This is a really good. We have 21k now. That's going to hatch for a while. We can also go ahead and do a few more TNTs. Why not? Um, it might not actually be a good idea to both of, do both of them at the same time. Because there's literally no coins for it to break. And there we go. The giant coin jar broke too. So that's really good. I can also get more pet equips. Like I can equip three more if I buy all of these upgrades, which is pretty sick. But I think I'm going to get that by selling Lucky Block books. Because if you didn't know, in my last video, I showed you guys how you can get a ton of gems. And it, it's pretty overpowered. I'm not even going to lie. 
I do also have the huge angel dog, which I traded for like two Titanics and adds, uh, yeah, right here. And I think this is a massive W for now, bro, because this pet is only two in existence and nobody's really trying to get it. Like, it's too hard to get, and it's just worth so much right now. I've seen it get three Titanics so far, but I want to get, like, four or five if possible. But, yeah, let's continue on ahead of hatching for a little while. See if we get anything good. It looks like there is auctions going on for, like, the exclusive eggs, which is pretty cool. I wish I had actually sold them because I think that might have had been better. And I don't know why they added back rap, bro. To be honest, I never actually liked rap, especially in, like, Pet Sim. And it doesn't seem to be working too well in this game, cuz. One million for a huge pet, bro. That is just not the right rap. This guy's selling 69 bones for 30k. Oh my god, I hope he knows how good those are. But maybe what we can actually do is go ahead buy some more of these lucky blocks they're for 500k right now which is lower than what it actually was but what i can do firstly i need to actually turn off my trades and then what we can do is list items and right here where is it let's go ahead and put it out for 650k I think it's currently gonna get more than that just because, oh my god, there's too many auctions. These guys have some huge happy rocks up there, and wow, they seem to be going for 800k gems. That might honestly be a very good deal. They did also change, like, um, the rarity of the charms for some reason. Now they're, like, legendaries when I think they were, like, epics. They did also add this new Titanic, by the way, called the Titanic Reindeer. And it says it comes with the Titanic Reindeer Plush, which is not actually a thing yet. So that means we're going to be getting some new Titanic plushies very soon. And Midas has actually received a massive buff to where it now makes stuff turn five times more, uh, or you get five times more coins for stuff that it turns gold. So that is in insanely good and i have so many of them bro so i'm glad i kind of have them i'm also gonna go ahead and buy 10 exclusive eggs so that we can also start auctioning these i don't know if i can auction like multiple at once let's go ahead and test that out that is a good question and wait i already have an auction pending so i don't know if i can actually put it all up yet but we might as well claim a booth uh, somewhere over here and then what we can do is go to our um, items and go ahead and start selling some of these exclusive eggs. So, yeah, you can only sell one at once. So, I'm going to just go ahead and sell it. How much does it even go for? It goes for 292k. So, I'm going to do like 330k. You know, I think that's a good price. It's not too much over it and it's not too low. So, it, I would say it's pretty good. There we go. I put up two. Let's see if we get any sales on these. Hopefully, people buy them. Um, I, I don't know if people are interested. Overpriced, bro. What are you talking about? Can you not see the rap? I mean, to be fair, I would never trust rap. But it's the fact that, like, stuff like this, um, it actually goes for more than, like, 300k before the update. But because of them adding rap, everything is just going to get dropped down way lower than it should actually be. Okay, there we go. People are buying the ones that are... Whoa, why is he buying the ones that's 300k? I put up a few for 310k so that they could buy that, but they're buying the 300ks. Or I guess the ones that are more expensive. I don't understand. But um, here we go. Let's go buy or place down some more cheaper ones so that people can buy them. There we go. They are selling pretty fast. So this is pretty nice. 310k a piece. Dude, a huge happy rock just sold for 1 million. That is such a good deal. And there we go. The last one did get purchased. I have like four more, but I'm going to wait to put these up for the auction. Let's get people to bid for them. There we go. My lucky block is up for auction. 650k. And let's go. We got a starting bidder. This monkey little dude. Oh my god, Avatar is so cute. Whoa, okay. 656k. I think that's what it's gonna sell for. Honestly, I'm not gonna complain. It's actually going up in rap, so maybe I should start complaining. But no, it's a pretty good deal. I'll take it. All I need is the gems. 
Bro, I think uh, soon enough, I'm gonna have to inflate my huge Pegasus. And, well, inflating is exactly what I'm about to do. I usually hate doing this, but I always want to show you guys that you should never trust rap. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to tell the developers, bro, stop adding back rap, please. It sucks. But it is actually insane right now what the clan has actually just done to the lucky block thing. As you can see, earlier, like two seconds ago, it was like 500k rap, and now it is 5 million. So what I could do is just go ahead and like buy a million of these. Wait, hold on. Let's go put back the enchant and just go to the shop over here. But here's the lucky block enchant. You know what? It, it looks really good. So let's go ahead and buy it for 650 Robux and then sell it for over 3 million. And people do this all the time, and it's a little bit weird how it works. I personally find it, like, so weird how they have the rap. Like, the way the rap works is it chooses a range between, like, let's say if I sold something for 5 million. The average rap for it would be 4 to 6 million. Because it goes, like, on an equal amount on both ways so that it can give you the average. But the average is so inaccurate and it can easily be, like, exploited, I guess. Well, not exploited, but it can basically be changed by people very quickly. So what I can do now is literally come over here and people can easily flip this. So I'm not going to sell it too high because I obviously know it's going to come down. So here we go, lucky block. It is uh, currently 4.4 million. So I'll go ahead and sell it for literally like 2.5 million. And I'm gonna do that so that people that do buy it from me can go ahead and resell it and they don't get scammed. Because to be honest, it is very expensive. But here we go, let's go ahead and sell another one for 2.5 million. And also it seems like now if you actually do this thing where you buy the super diamond pack and I know guys it's a very expensive thing I, I really didn't want to buy it but whenever you buy it the game I don't know how long I have to actually give it uh let's go to hatch our diamond thing Ooh, rainbow diamond cat not bad for sure but apparently after you buy like so many of these you get something that Creecraft got which says the ultimate diamond pack and apparently this is a private offer which has a 20% chance of a huge diamond cat as well as 6 million diamonds. It is not an insane deal, I will say that. I think it's like 20% more if I'm doing my math right. But it is still kind of crazy. Also, somehow I just got in my boy Preston's server. I, I literally just clicked a random server. I think he is AFK in here, but he is in here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this in front of him, bro. I'm going to go ahead and auction my item. Here it is. The lucky block. And it goes for 3 million, but I'll go ahead and put it out for 2.5 million. And it is lowering slowly, though, just because of the fact that, you know, like, people are going to try selling it for a few lower. I have no idea what Preston is doing here, though, bro. Does he even have any, like, pets on? Hold on. If I go ahead and show other people's pets, does this guy even have anything? Okay, yeah, no, he has absolutely nothing, bro. I did not know Preston was bad at his own game. But here we go. The auction is about to go up like any second now. Come on, please hurry up. There it is. The lucky block auction for 2.5 million. Oh, I don't even... Wait, no. Nobody in the server can even buy it. Okay, well, I, I kind of didn't even know that. It looks like nobody in the server can actually buy it. So there's no way for me to sell it. Wait, Preston does have pets, bro. He has all the balloon cats in the world. I think Preston is on the cat team, bro. But okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and make a listing for these. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it for like 1.5 million. Um... Can't anybody in the server even buy that? Okay, no, they're still, like, too low. So, I have to go, like, 1 million. Um, you know what? I'll sell it for a million. People can probably flip it for a lot more. But I'm just gonna do the favor of selling it only for a million. 
Wait, he's selling an exclusive anime egg for 500k. You know what, bro? Let's go ahead and buy it off of him. I don't know if uh, this is going to be worth it. I think it might be because this is super rare. Okay, it's going for 700k, bro. All right, man, fine. Let's go 1.3 million. I don't know why I'm bidding so high for this bet, bro. It is so not worth it. There you go, Preston. I hope you enjoy the load of gems I just gave you. And, bro, it automatically said it's wrap. So, either way, just because I bought that, bro, the wrap is already very good. You know what? What better thing to do than come back here and put it up for, like, 100 million, bro? Because th that's only fair, right? Yeah, the Lucky Block enchant is coming back down, bro. No way, but it is still so high. He's selling a Capybara egg for like 1.2 million. You know what? Let's go ahead and try buying some of these dragon eggs. I want to go ahead and hatch them. Hopefully, we can get something good. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of the eggs, bro. Let's go ahead and hatch them, bro. Come on. Give me something good. Please and oh somebody bought my lucky block. Okay. Can I like please get a huge pad bro? One of these have got to be good, bro. Okay. I don't think we even got a single huge out of all of that. Oh Yes, come on. We got something. I don't know what it is, but we did get something. Please Titanic No, okay. We got a huge pet I'm also going to buy this exclusive egg just because I do want to collect all of them, bro. And since Preston can just spawn them in, why not get his? This guy's selling three large gifts for 60k. I do want to buy these because it has a new item in it. Let's see if I can actually get them. Come on, please. And wait, did I get it? Oh, no, bro. We still can't get the little, um, what is it called? The... Uh, what I forgot what it's even called. The, the charm stone. But we did get some pretty cool rewards. I'll take it anyway. It also looked like Preston just ratioed Hippo Melon Clan, bro. And then what he did after it is he banned the, the Hippo Melon guy, bro. Josh has literally just been hit with the ban hammer. And there we go. 600k gems. I will take it. There's a lot of other stuff on the auction. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell the exclusive eggs here for like 325k. Let's go. They're getting bought out. Bro, I'm doing a good deed for everyone. I'm helping y'all increase this rap, man. This guy said, what's up, baby girl? What are you talking? Whoa. Okay, 3.6 million gems is enough for me to get a decent amount of upgrades. So now if we go back all the way to actually not this way, but over this way to the pet equip, we can go ahead and buy all of them just like so. Boom, there we go. Three more pet slots. And actually, I can also go over to the egg one and buy some of these too. I should be able to afford them. Yeah, there we go. Three plus eggs. So now I can have more stuff on my team. And you know what I'm going to equip, bro. I got to equip the huge angel dog, bro. Only two exist. This is so rare. I'm also going to go ahead and actually equip, I think, like, if I have another pet that is pretty good in stats. Okay, no, I don't. Well, I guess we could do the level 42 huge pop cat. Why not? Also, why did I just get back my partner overboard, bro? What? This game must be bugging right now, bro. But yeah, really cool first update. I think I enjoy it. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know if you find it fun, if you think it's trash or anything and i'm curious to know your thoughts on it but yeah this method of just using tnt right now seems to be the best guys i recommend it especially if you can place down like a fortune flag it's gonna give you so much and hold on i have to try one more thing bro what if i equip all of my midas enchants how about all of that and we can also go ahead and equip coins and you know a fortune because why not now, what I'm going to do is try to make everything gold. I don't know what I actually have to do. I think I just click on stuff. No, they might have made it harder to actually make stuff gold. I'm pretty sure because, yeah, I'm just clicking bruh, and nothing's turning gold. Oh, I think my pets can do it themselves. So, OK, we're, we're getting around 2000 right now. And oh, my God, it's going up like crazy fast. Okay, now, since I have a fortune flag down already, let's go ahead and make sure we have some boost on um, rainbow fruits, a few of those. 
And if I go and place TNT, as you guys can see, oh my god, bro. Look at the number right here. It is going up so fast. Like, if I just break this one thing, I got 300 from that. And that was one gold item. So, I would have to argue that this is a pretty good update. I, I personally enjoy it. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, too. Oh, wait. What is this chest here, bro? Does this give us, like, some pretty cool rewards? Because, like, it has, like, books and stuff around it. I feel like I have literally never seen this in my life. So, let's just go ahead and break it and see what it gives. Okay, it's about to crack. And come on, what do we get? Okay, we just got a bunch of books. Pretty good, I guess. There is also a meteor, bro. How is this stuff spawning in? Okay, I broke that and it gave us like a thousand coins. So it, the meteors are honestly terrible. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead, grind a ton of this update. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, watch the video on the screen. It's one of my best videos yet. And I promise you will enjoy it. Until then, goodbye.